Well, at this point, we're going to be talking about working with a great time-saving feature inside of Dreamweaver called Templates. And at, up to this point, you've really seen some of the advantages of working with CSS, especially external CSS. If you remember, making a change in your external style sheet and then applying that change to multiple pages all at the same time because they all share the same style sheet. Well, Dreamweaver templates, if you can think about it in this fashion, is the exact same functionality except instead of concerning itself with CSS, Dreamweaver templates specifically address what to do inside of an environment with multiple HTML pages. So what I want to do to start with this is I'm going to ask you to come up here and say manage sites inside of your files window or you could go to site new site and we're going to create a new site and if you're following along with the downloaded files that I've provided for the tutorials you can just name this stitch in time and we'll point to the local site folder. I'm just going to point to the desktop where I asked you to put your stuff. If you go to the practice folder you'll see chapter six, six, excuse me, there is a stitch in time folder in here and as you can see it's just got the basic skeleton of a website. Index, web, images, and CSS. So we'll choose that and I'll click on save. Alright, now that we're done with that we can see that we have a number of files in here and you'll notice if I open up the index page first and foremost, you can see that I've got you know the basic structure that we've been working on and if you followed along with us when we were discussing things like form elements and playing with the contact area, you can see here I've opened up the contact area and as you can see it's just blank. Well, I'm going to close this but I'm just keeping the index page open for a second. Let's assume that you've created the index page and you've created it pretty much as I've mentioned you know do the lion's share of the work on the index page almost a hundred percent if not a, the entire hundred percent of the index page should be finished before you save as all of your other pages well in this case with Dreamweaver's templates we can do the same thing we're going to be saving as and we're going to be actually adding some things to that save so here's what I want you to do to get started first of all I have a page here which I'm going to now save as a template. So if we do this, notice it's inside of the site that we called Stitch in Time. That's cool. There are no existing templates already in this site, which is fine. Description, I mean, we don't really need one, but quite literally it's for the hypothetical Stitch in Time website. Now I could save this with the name index, uh, and it gives you that suggestion because I'm saving the index .html page. But remember, whatever you're saving here is going to be a template. So it's going to have the DWT, Dreamweaver Template Extension. So it's not going to work like a HTML page. We don't actually you know, point to a DWT page online. It's a HTML page. So it doesn't need to be called index. I'm going to call it Stitch in Time. In other words, same name as our root folder, same name as everything else. So I'm going to click Save. And now it's going to ask me if I want to update these links. So you could say, yes, sure, update these links. And basically what you'll end up seeing is not really anything different. But you will notice that this now is looking here as a DWT page. What you might also notice is that inside of your site window, you can see that a new folder has been added. It's called Templates. And inside of it, ah, Stitch in Time DWT, this page right here. So here's how they work. When you're working with a template, the first thing you want to do is to define which areas on this particular page are going to be editable. In other words, what we want to do is there are going to be certain areas that are not going to change. For example, I don't want people to be able to, you know, go in and indiscriminately change what's in the navigation areas. But from page to page, this area in here may change. In fact, even the sidebar may change as well. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm just going to scroll down, and you don't even need the code view open at this point. Actually, I'll just go to design. And if I scroll down here, and notice you'll see the red box for the main div, and you can notice here it says div 
main is the ID name for this div. So this div here, I want to define as an editable region. In other words, when people are using this template, they won't be able to change what's in here, but they will be able to change what's in here and later on in here as well. So we're going to go to Insert Template Objects, and I'm going to say make this an editable region. So we'll give it a name. Since this is our main area, it's got the div name main, I can give it an editable region with the same name as well. So I'll click OK and take a look at what's going on inside of Dreamweaver. Here it says main and nothing else has really changed. But now what I want to do is to also define the sidebar as a main or as a editable region as well. So I'll say insert template objects, editable region. Notice there's also the shortcut of Alt Command V on a Mac or uh, Alt Control V on a PC. So here's one, I'm just going to call it Sidebar. Alright, so now we've got two editable regions to work from. Alright, well what does this do? Well, first of all we're going to say Save. And we're saving this page. It does nothing else. It's just saving this one page. That's great. Now what we want to do are to make new pages. So in other words, Here's what we'll do. I mean, technically speaking, I can even close this Dreamweaver template page. I don't even need it open at this point, right? Remember, it's still there in the templates. But now, check it out. If we are going to be building the rest of our website, let's do this. We're going to now create a new file. And notice, it's not a new blank page. It's not a blank template that we're creating because we could have done that as well. For example, everything that we had done in our index.html page to build our Stitch in Time website could have been done from a blank template to start. But here I did it kind of backwards since we had a page already. So I'm going to create a page from a template. Well, in the Stitch in Time site, as you can see, I've got three sites here, and one of them is called Stitch in Time. So in there, there is a template called Stitch in Time, and here's what it looks like. All right, great. So we're going to create this particular template. So as you can see, here's a page, and look, it's untitled. And if you were to look inside your code view, it's got these weird things going on where the... Well, first of all, let's notice one thing. If I have an editable region like main, I can put my cursor in there and I could select things and make changes. Same thing with sidebar area. Notice. But check it out here. I cannot make any changes in the nav section. Why? Because it's not editable. Same thing with over here, right? So it's giving me the big Ghostbusters symbol, right? I ain't afraid of no templates. So um, that's what's happening here. It doesn't let you work with it. Also, let's notice something else. The area that is editable we can see it and selectable even in your code view but the area that is not editable ah check that out right you can select it but it's grayed out it's not letting us make those changes also notice you might have like these weird long a uh, links in here don't worry about that because as soon as we save this page all of these links will be uh, set up the way we want to I'll come back and show you this in a second so just to show that this is made some changes, right? So here in my design view, instead of exciting headline, I'm going to say, um, and again, just for our purposes, index, just to let us know that this is the index page. And I'm going to say index sidebar over here, just so we know that this is, in fact, the index page's sidebar. Now, you could leave the text as it is or whatever. So I will now come in and say, let's save this page as index.html. So if we save it, it's going to say, oh, one exists. You want to replace it? Yes, we do. So we will replace it. And now this is our index page. And by the way, let's look at our code. Ah, perfect. You see how the A tags now don't have all that yucky, messy code? These are all perfect and they work exactly the way we want. But again, we can't change them from the index page directly. You'll see why in a second. The only thing we can change are the editable regions. Okay, so if we've got these editable regions in place, now all we need to do is to make the same changes in the rest of our pages. And we'll do that as soon as we come back.